and welcome to the first episode of Life in Cornwall. Today I'm at the beautiful Gujarati on the north coast and this is a popular National Trust property here in the southwest. It's home to a whole manner of wildlife and a great diversity of habitats. And today I'm going to go talk to some of the National Trust rangers to find out what they've been doing to attract butterflies to this stunning location. Henry, how's it going today? Good, thanks, yeah. Fine, yourself? Can't complain, look at the weather we've got. Oh, that's great. Perfect. So, looking around where we are now in this heathland habitat, we've got, we we've got bare ground, we've got this beautiful purple heather, we've got gorse bushes and all these different grasses as well. Collectively, this obviously makes a great habitat for a diversity of wildlife with, you know, bees and birds, reptiles as well, but obviously what we're looking for is butterflies. Yay. Happy days. So what sort of butterflies can we expect to find today? Well, we're in July, so we're really hopeful that we'll see Meadow Brown, Gatekeeper, yeah. Red Admiral, maybe the odd peacock today. Very nice. Small and large white, uh, maybe painted ladies, silver studded blue as well if we're really lucky. There's a few a diamond in the rough here, so yeah, yeah, that'd be really nice. So with you guys being National Trust Rangers, sort of what, what's your daily routine here? What sort of work do you do to promote and encourage butterflies to this habitat? Well, um, first off, we put big signs up. Huge yep. great signs saying butterflies here. Henry's always on social media, Ideal. Instagram, so you know, get But if all that fails, yeah. then it's very slow sort of management on this yeah. site. Um, we know we've got, it's a really good site for small pearl boarded, uh -huh. and we know we've got them here in good number. Yeah. So it's a matter of tweaking it, getting the grazing right. Mm -hmm. You can see just behind us here, there's quite a block of gorse that's kind of like waist to shoulder height, which is quite a bit of a monoculture there. So yeah. it's about creating little areas where the heather can come up, bare ground, very Absolutely. important that we get common dog violet on site for the small pearl border. Very important species. So we need bare ground and areas that are a bit more open. Gotcha. It's uh, just similar to what Nick said really, it's all fairly new what we've been doing here. Yeah. Like I say we know we've got butterflies here, so we're just trying to sort of tweak out the sort of management strategies that, that are sort of showing that improve the numbers here and things. Perfect. Uh, it's quite slow progress, so yeah. you might not see something the year after, you know, it could be multiple years down the line. Got you. And there'll be things we'll learn from that maybe we don't do right as yeah. well. So it's sort of a learning curve as well. But on. Right, well I think it's enough talking. And let's go see what you guys have been up to. Let's try and find some Great. butterflies. Yeah. Let's go. Well, lead the way, chaps. So, with my enthusiasm bursting to find some butterflies, we were off to walk the transect that Nick and Henry have been monitoring for the past few years. A transect is a straight line or narrow section through an area along which observations are taken. Meandering through the gorse and heather, it wasn't long before we spotted this white-tailed bumblebee, which then led us to our first butterfly of the day. So we've already got. A nice peacock butterfly Ooh, here. It's beauty, isn't it? Absolutely colours. gorgeous. On bramble there. Nice feed. A nice little bee buzzing about the same time. Sweet. With our first butterfly species ticked off, we pushed along the transect and we soon stumbled upon a small tortoise shell feeding on some ragwort. From here, the butterflies seem to be everywhere. This little chap is a small skipper and is widespread throughout England and Wales. This beautiful orange and brown butterfly is a small copper. The males are very territorial and will often find a patch of bare ground or a rock to sit on and wait for passing females. Throughout the transect it was Henry's job to note down all the butterflies we encountered, such as this meadow brown. These guys are widespread and common throughout Britain and Ireland and this abundant species have eye spots with single white pupils. This is a painted lady and each year these long distant flies migrate to Britain from the desert fringes of North Africa. How amazing is that? It was then time to look at some plants. Nick, we've got a great diversity of like, coastal flowers here. So what sort of species are we looking at? Yeah, we've got a nice mix here. We've got um, an area that's next to a, a, a clear area because it's where our path is. Yeah. So it's got a little bit more bare ground. So there's violets that are tucked in down here. Mm -hmm. Just in here, you can see again, they're really important for the small pearl, as we mentioned before. Yeah. We've got knapweed here. Mm -hmm. We've got betony. It's been a brilliant year for betony. It's such a showy flower. A really good nectar source, similar to the knapweed. Perfect. With our botanical detour over and done with, it was time to get back to our butterfly bonanza. These gatekeepers, also known as the hedge brown, were all over the place. 
As its name suggests, these orangey brown butterflies are often encountered where clumps of flowers grow in gateways and are commonly found along hedgerows and field edges. Walking alongside these wildflowers, we came across another stunning butterfly, a dark green fritillary, so called because of the green hue found on the underside of the hind wings. The dark green is one of our most widespread fritillaries, but has sadly declined in parts of central and eastern England. But it remains locally abundant in western England, around the coast of Wales and in Scotland. As we approached the end of our transect, Nick suddenly spotted a diamond in the rough, the silver studded blue. This rare and beautiful butterfly is confined to small colonies in England and Wales. Spotting such a rarity was a great way to finish our transect. Feeling rather chuffed with our survey, it was now time to head back and tally up the number of butterflies that we encountered. So Henry, how many species did we see in total? We had 13 species today. Nice. A record number, 129 individual butterflies. So is that the best transect that you've ever I think done? It's yeah. probably the best I've done. Yeah, yeah. super, oh, by far. Really good. Um, Cracking. Sort of winner today goes to the gatekeeper. We yeah, no, every 91. Nice For this two weeks, it is the big butterfly count. So today we've been doing this great survey with the National Trust, but this is where you guys can get involved. So all you need is 15 minutes, either a smartphone or a pen and paper, and you can do your own big butterfly count in your back garden or your local patch and submit it to the Butterfly Conservation Charity. Great. Happy days. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very See much. See you again Billy. soon. Yes, nice one. Soon. Whoop.